Hello, everybody. Getting ready to do lesson 2.1, part two today of pre-algebra math. And on your class worksheet, sheet, you got 24 points. Have that out in front of you now. And 14 points go into your notebook or your notebook guide. Have that ready to go. Students, put your name, date, period here. And let's get into page one of part two today of 2.1. This is your goes into your notebook, page one, 2.1, part two. Identity properties. When zero is added to any number, or when any number is multiplied by one, the result is identical to the original number. These properties of zero and one are called identity properties, and the numbers zero and one are called identities. So this goes in your notebook. And let's get into more of this in our classwork page two here. Identity properties, identity property of addition, and then we have identity property of multiplication. So for addition, words, uh, the sum of a number and the additive identity zero is the number. So negative six plus zero is negative six, and then a plus zero will be just a, right? So we got that. And then for the identity property of multiplication, the product of a number and the multiplicative identity, one, is the number. So four times one equals four. A times one equals A. So now, students, in your own words, define adjective identity and then multiplicative identity. This is 10 points. This goes in your notebook, page three, 2.1, part two. And uh, do that. Now teachers wait on your students or continue on and students can do this later. Okay, let's go right into our next example here. Example four, identifying a properties. So for A here, negative five times a one equals negative five. So which property there is illustrated up here? It'd be the identity property and multiplication because of our one. One times negative five is going to be negative five. And then here for B, two plus a negative nine will equal the same thing as negative nine plus two. So we're just switching places here with our terms. And this will be the commutative property of addition here. When you switch places here, you're commuting these terms. And then for C, y squared plus zero equals y squared. So which property does this illustrate here? And that's the identity property of addition. When you add zero to anything, you get anything is what you get. So that's the identity there. And then two times PQ equals two P times Q. That property is the associative property of multiplication. We're just moving this together with it with the two p together with the two then the q by itself you'll still get the same product let's go try one here Ident identify the property that the statement illustrates so we have mn plus zero equals mn this is yours down here uh, students to do on your own let's get into our guided up here for this right up here m plus mn plus zero equals mn and that would be the identity property of addition because zero added to anything is anything. So that's right there. Let's go to a notebook page now, unit analysis. You can use unit analysis to find a conversion factor that converts a given measurement to different units. A conversion factor such as one foot to over 12 inches is equal to one, correct? So one foot over 12 inches would be the same thing as 12 inches over 12 inches equals one. Uh, one foot is 12 inches. So. so the identity property of multiplication tells you that multiplying a measurement by a conversion factor does not change the measurement. You're basically multiplying by one when you uh, have a conversion when you have a fraction like this one foot over 12 inches that's that's still one but you can change units using conversion factors which we're going to do multiplying by conversion factor the steel dragon 2000 is the world's longest roller coaster its length is 2711 yards how long is the roller coaster in feet so to do this, we need to find a conversion factor that converts yards to feet. The statement one yard equals three feet gives you two conversion factors. Factor one is one yard over three feet. 
And then factor two would be three feet over one yard. Both of these equal one. Multiply by those. We're just multiplying by one. We're not changing the amount. Unit analysis shows that a conversion factor that converts yards to feet Yards two feet has feet in the numerator. Feet in the numerator when you can want to convert to feet that converts yards to feet. You, what you want to convert to is in the numerator and, and yards in the denominator. So let's do that. So yards times feet over yards, the yards will cancel and we'll end up with feet. That's why your desired unit measurement should be in the numerator of your conversion factor. So factor two is the desired conversion factor. Once we got that figured out, now multiply the roller coaster's length by factor two from step one. So 2711 yards equals 2711 yards times three feet over one yard. This is just one, so this is completely legal. These cancel. 2711 times three feet will be 8133 feet. So that would be how many feet are in the steel dragon, 8,133 feet long. Let's try one, use a conversion factor to perform the indicated conversion. This is yours down here, students. So we want to convert 432 square inches to square feet. So to, okay, so to do this, we're going to use a conversion factor to perform the indicated, indicated conversion which is 432 square inches to square feet, to square feet. So we want to go to square feet. One square foot equals 144 square inches. So to get our square feet or square foot, we have factor one here, which we've got our square foot in the numerator here, one square foot over 144 square inches. That looks good. Or factor two would be 144 square inches over one square foot. We're trying to convert to square feet, which is in the numerator here on factor one. So we're going to use factor one. And then when we apply factor one, 432 square inches, and then we have one square foot over 144 square inches, our square inches here are going to cancel. We're left with one down here when we cancel 144 we're going 432 three times then those will cancel so now we have three times one square foot so we have three square feet would be that conversion and that's your lesson for today animated powerpoint math video at alo.com for questions or course materials thank you very much